Hi, Dan Jones. I'm with the Brooklyn 5G Summit. Um, so there's a palpable sense of urgency here this year. We're kind of racing for some operator to actually get to commercial 5G service in 2019. It's interesting because on one level, people here are talking as if everything's on schedule and on the surface it appears to be, but there's an awful lot of work to be done to kind of push 5G into 2019. A lot of it's going to be around testing, millimeter wave, how do obstacles affect the signals, how do people's hands affect the signals, uh, and also kind of propagation and, and distance kind of stuff. There's a lot of work around kind of battery power and uh, how we can use these new technologies with uh, smartphones and things like that. Will they eat too much power? For instance, I've just watched KT Telecom they are still pushing for a Winter Olympics 2018 trial with commercial services in 2019. NTD Docomo is sticking to 2020 as their initial commercial launch date. This means that the work on the non-standalone 5G new radio specification, they say it's still on schedule for uh, delivery uh, December 2017, but obviously this is going to be a tight squeeze. Companies like uh, Phaser who are running 5G trials and they're using the 802.11 AC baseband for OFDM modulation because there's nothing else they can use if they want to get commercial products out in 2017 as they do. 5G is a bit like an iceberg. There's 10% which is the kind of official stuff that people are saying and there's 90% which is all the kind of work and scheduling that is going on underneath the surface.